Welcome everybody to part two. In part one we made our four squares and now let's put our poncho together. Place the square that you want to be your front wrong side up and the square you want to be your left sleeve next to it also wrong side up and you can take the other sleeve away for right now we only need three squares. So we have the front square wrong side up and the sleeve wrong side up next to it. Then place the square you want for your back next to the sleeve also wrong side up like an L shape so everything is wrong side up. Now we can make the seam from the right two corners along the sides to the neckline along the other sides and to the left corners. So I have my two pieces wrong side up. Here's the back, here's the sleeve and the right sides are inside facing each other. Put the corners together, the right sides facing each other and now go into the second chain of the first piece. Here's the front loop, behind it is the back loop, go into the front loop, then grab the second chain of the second piece. Here's the front loop, Here's the back loop. Go into the back loop of the second chain of the second piece and make a slip stitch. Then slip stitch the next two chains together. Front loop on the first piece, back loop on the second piece. Slip stitch and the same on the doubles. Front loop, back loop, slip stitch. Front loop, back loop, slip stitch. This is how the wrong side looks and when you turn it over to the right side you get those two nice lines on the top and on the bottom. When you get to the two chains also crochet the front loop together with the back loop, front loop, back loop, slip stitch, front loop, back loop, slip stitch and then keep going on with the double crochet front loop, back loop, slip stitch. When you get to the neckline slip stitch the first chains together of both pieces. Then go into the second chain into the front loop of the sleeve and now you can grab your third square that's the front of the poncho face it wrong side up but turn the corner so the two corners of the sleeve and the front face each other right side. So the right sides are inside and now make a slip stitch into the second chain of that last piece. One, two, go into the second chain, go into the back loop and now we also need to grab that third piece that's the back piece and we also go into that second chain so you have to turn it a little bit to see it go into the second chain and finish that piece go into the back loop and now we have the back the front and the sleeve and then the loop on our hook pull through all of those four loops and now we crochet all of those three pieces together now you can take the back piece aside and connect the sleeve and the front go into the third chain of the sleeve front loop and go into the third chain of the front piece back loop and make the slip stitch and you can slip stitch all the doubles together front loop back loop and all of the chains front loop back loop this is how the wrong side looks and when you turn it over the right side still has the two lines on the top and the bottom Make the seam all the way to the two corners and when you get to your two corners slip stitch the first and the second chains together of both pieces. Then you can make one more chain and pull your yarn out and sew in the loose end. And this is the wrong side and you fold it over. This is how the right side looks with those two lines. Now let's make the second seam. Place your poncho right side up. Then fold your front piece over to the middle and fold your back piece over to the middle. Now this is wrong side, wrong side and the right sides face each other. Then place your fourth square also wrong side up into the middle so everything is looking at you now wrong side up and we will make the same seam as before. We start at the corner, go along the sides, towards the neckline, down the side and towards the corner and repeat the same stitch we did on the other side. We finished our two seams. Now let's make a border around the bottom of our poncho. When you're finished with your two seams, turn your poncho around so you're looking at the bottom of your poncho and you can start at any of the two corners. Face your poncho right side up and make a single crochet into the corner. And I put a slip knot on my hook and make a single crochet into the chain space of three. Chain four, one, two, three, 
four and make another single crochet into the corner space chain four one two three four skip two posts one two and in between the second and the third post not into the stitch but underneath in between the two posts make a single crochet chain four one two three four skip three posts one two three and between the third and the fourth post underneath the stitch again make a single crochet chain four one two three four skip three posts again one two three and in between the third and the fourth post underneath the stitch again in between the post make a single crochet and chain four again then you can skip the last two doubles and make a single crochet into the chain space and those are our four arches our sequence is starting over chain four skip two posts in between the second and the third post make a single crochet and chain four skip three posts in between the third and the fourth post make a single crochet and chain four skip three posts in between the third and the fourth post make a single crochet in four chains skip the last two doubles and make a single crochet into the chain space Repeat the four arch sequence until you get to the seam. Chain four, skip two, make a single, chain four, skip three, make a single, chain four, skip three, make a single, chain four, make a single into the chain space. When you get to the first seam, chain four, skip the two doubles, and make a single crochet into the first corner space, chain four, skip over the seam and make a single crochet into the second corner space. Then repeat the pattern, chain four, skip two, make a single, chain four, skip three make a single chain four skip three make a single chain four skip two make a single into the chain space crochet over the second seam make the single into the chain space chain four skip the seam and make a single crochet into the second chain space and continue your pattern until you get to the corner skip the last two double crochet chain four make a single into the chain space chain four make a single into the chain space the corner space then continue your pattern skip two chain four single crochet and then on the other side we have also two seams and crochet them the same way skipping over the seam in the middle the first seam and then the second seam the same way let's finish round one Make your last single crochet and now we have two more doubles to skip. Chain one and then make a double crochet into the first single crochet that we made into the chain space. Let's start round two. Make three chains. Then go into those two pieces of yarn of the double crochet. When you have them on your hook they look kind of like an arrow up. Then make a slip stitch through the two pieces of yarn and through the loop on your hook. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Go into the next chain space, that's our corner space, and make a single crochet into the chain space and repeat the three chain slip stitch pico. Chain three, one, two, three. Make the slip stitch into the single crochet. Chain five, one, two, three. Then go to the next chain space, make the single crochet and the three chain slip stitch pico chain three and make the slip stitch into the single crochet. Chain five. Go to the next chain space, into that chain space, make the single crochet three chain slip stitch pico. And now you can repeat that pattern until you get to the corner space. When you get to the corner, chain five and make the pico sequence into the corner space. Chain five and then continue on the other side. Make the pico sequence in all of the chain spaces with a chain five in between. At the end of the round, make your single crochet and the three chain slip stitch pico into your last chain space. Chain two, one, two, and finish the round with a treble yarn over twice. Go into the double crochet of the previous round and make a treble crochet. Pull through, 
pull through two loops through two and through two and start round three. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Go into the next chain space, make a single crochet. Chain six, go into the next chain space and make a single crochet and that's all we're doing in this round. Go into all of the chain spaces and make a single crochet with a chain of six in between. Continue the pattern around the corner, make the single crochet in all of the chain spaces with a chain six in between. Finish round three, make the last single crochet into the last chain space, chain two and make a treble crochet into the previous treble crochet. Pull through, pull through two loops through two and through two and start round four. Chain three, one, two, three make the slip stitch picot again into the treble crochet. So this is a picot round again. Then chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go into the next chain space and repeat the single crochet, three chain slip stitch picot, chain seven, go into the next space and this is our corner space, make the single crochet, three chain slip stitch picot. So now we're in our corner and we will make an increase now so our corner doesn't get too tight. Chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then make another pico sequence into that chain space, into that corner space. Make the single crochet, three chain slip stitch pico. Now we have a little extra space around our corner with that extra chain and the extra pico, and now you can continue along the side the same way. Make the pico sequences in all of the chain spaces with a chain seven in between. When you get to your second corner, also make the two sequences with the single crochet, three chain slip stitch, pico one, two times and a chain seven in between. And then repeat the pico sequence in all of the chain spaces with a chain seven in between on the side. Finish round four with a single crochet, three chain slip stitch, pico, chain three, one, two, three, and make a treble crochet into the previous treble crochet. And start round five. This time we're chaining seven. And make a single crochet into the next chain space, chain seven, make a single crochet into the next chain space, chain seven, and make a single crochet into the next chain space. And that's our corner space. As you can see in the previous round, we doubled up and we're doing the same thing now. Make the single crochet into the chain space, into the corner space, then chain seven and make another single crochet into the corner space and chain seven. And now you can continue that pattern on the side. Make single crochet into all of the chain spaces with a chain seven in between. When you get to the corner, also make the increase with a single crochet, seven chains and a single crochet into the corner space. Then continue along the other side, make single crochet into all the chain spaces with chain seven in between. Finish round five with a single crochet into the last chain space, chain three and make a treble into the previous treble and start round six. And now you can repeat round four and round five as many times as you like to make the border as long as you like. Start round six with a single crochet, three chain, slip stitch, pico and make those pico sequences in all of the chain spaces with a chain seven in between and do that until you get to the corner space. And you can repeat on both of the corners the same way. Make the two pico sequences into the corner space and then chain seven in between. And on the sides make the pico sequences in all of the chain spaces also with a chain seven in between. Finish round six with a pico sequence, chain three and make a treble into the previous treble and start round seven which is the same as round five where we chain seven in between all of the single crochet that we make into the chain space and then make your two corners the same way. Make the single crochet chain seven and single crochet into the corner to make another increase. I added 12 rounds to the border. You can finish your last round with a pico sequence and take your 
hook out of the last chain, the seventh chain, and pull it from the front to the back through the treble crochet, pull that loop through, make a chain, and now you can sew in your loose end. Now let's finish our poncho and add one round to the neckline. Turn your poncho around so you can work the neckline and face it again right side up and you can start anywhere in between the groups of 10 doubles in any of the chain spaces. I will start somewhere in the back. I have a slip knot on my hook. Make a single crochet into any of the chain spaces. And now we will make a three chain single crochet pico. Chain three, one, two, three and go into those two pieces of yarn again. But this time don't make a slip stitch. Pull through two loops and then again through two loops and that's the single crochet pico. Now make 10 single crochet into the next 10 double crochet. Make the 10 singles into the 10 doubles and then into the chain space. Make the single crochet, three chain, single crochet pico, go through two pieces of yarn, pull through two loops and then through two. Then repeat, make 10 single crochet into the 10 double crochet. And when you get to the chain space, make the single crochet, three chain, single crochet pico. And you can repeat it until you get to the seam. When you get to the seam, make a single crochet into the first corner space. Then go into the seam above that line we made. And I grab three pieces of yarn to have a secure stitch. And make a single crochet into the seam and also make a single crochet into the second corner space. And now you can repeat the pattern on the side. Make the 10 single crochet into the previous 10 doubles. And the single crochet, three chain single crochet pico into the chain spaces. When you get to the second corner, make a single crochet into the first corner, a single crochet into the seam and a single crochet into the second corner and continue the same way on the other side. And you can finish this last round, pull the yarn out of the last single crochet and thread a needle. Then go into the single crochet through both loops and then back down, top down into the last single crochet to the back loop and that little back bump. And you can sew in your loose end and now our poncho is finished. I hope you like your poncho and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye!